I've been a patient at MedStar for since 2017. I've had uh, two hips replaced and following those in 2018, I had a knee replaced. I got into tennis with my family because we were an army family. I was an army brat and so the family got into it and I got into it a little more actively than the rest and got some private lessons and group lessons and it all grew from there. And it's been a part of my life in a big way ever since then. In 2015, the pain began in my hips. The left was more pronounced than the right, and I noticed it mostly after activities. So like if I played a match, about an hour afterwards, it would be really, really sore, and I treated it with ice. I had to cut back considerably on how much I competed. My playing went from four or five times a week to once a week. I like to hunt and fish, um, both from a boat as well as walking the shore of lakes and rivers. And I really lost a lot of my confidence going into rivers and walking on slippery rocks and things like that and felt like this is a major interference in the things that I like to do and uh, I need to get some help for it. I went to MedStar, I explained my situation. They felt like let's go with a conservative approach get some therapy, a physical therapy, x-ray, CTs and the like, and then come back in a couple of months and, and gauge how the pain level is, is progressing. We ended up doing both hips. The first hip, the left one, was done in May of 17, and then the right hip was August of 17. After the surgeries, it was about three weeks each um, before I was back on the tennis court in a limited capacity teaching. I was feeling really optimistic about it. And then the pain in my knees, which I thought originally was just recovery, became really intense. So that's when we had to go back and, and examine what was happening in that joint. And at that point, Dr. Jacobs explained to me this new procedure, the Mako knee replacement, uh, which is a robotic uh, method to replacing the knee and he was very excited about it said that it gave a more precise uh, implantation of the joint and orientation to the leg the way the individual leg operates nowadays compared to 2016 and 17 it's like a whole new life on the tennis court but it's a 180 degree turnaround from where i was in 2016. I am fully operational with my um, hunting, fishing, playing with roughhousing with the grandkids, the whole nine yards. I'm doing things that were on a back burner back in 2015, 16, 17 that I couldn't even think about doing.